What I want to do today is connect our Google Forms and Google Slides app so that whenever a new form response is submitted into our selected Google Form, a presentation will automatically be created in our Google Slides app. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want my Google Forms to trigger the creation of a presentation in Google Slides, I'll need to use Google Forms as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Form Response as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime a new form response is uploaded into our selected Google Form, Zapier is going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Forms, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Click Continue to set up our Trigger Apps data. I'll click the form I want to use for my Zap and click Continue. To finish setting up this trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data by clicking Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. In my Google slide, I want to mention the date each form response was uploaded, so I'll need to set this up with the Format tool. I can find the Format tool by clicking the bottom button on the right side of the screen. For my event, I should click Date Time and click Continue. Next, under Transform, I'll click Format on the drop-down menu. Under Input, I'll click the last submitted time and then under To Format, I'll click the format that I want my date to be listed under. Click Test and Continue to start the second action step. Click the plus button at the bottom of the page to pull up a second action screen, and then type in Google Slides into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Presentation from Template and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate the Slides app via my Google account with Zapier, just like I did with Google Forms. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. For the title of presentation, I'm going to create a custom message by typing in custom text as well as using the drop-down menu items. Under Template Presentation, I'll click the template that I want to use for my new presentation. Once I click the template presentation, the data from my template presentation will appear. In order for this data to appear, I'll need to make sure that any data I want to appear on the step has two brackets on each side. I'll then use my Google Form questions to fill out the data. Under Name, I'll click What is your name? Under Date, I'll click Output under the Date, Time, and Format or dropdown. Under Email, I'll click Respondent Email, and under How do you feel about Zapier? I'll click Did you have questions about how to use Zapier? Next, click Test and Review, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new form is filled out on our selected Google Form, a presentation will automatically be created in Google Slides. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.